Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the Anycubic Air Pure. So this is a purifier that you can use in conjunction with a resin printer and it should eliminate most of the smells. So in this video we're going to unbox it, check out the features and see if it actually works. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get started. So this is the Anycubic Air Pure. I'm pretty excited to see how well it can neutralize the smell and the odor from the resin. Now I don't think this is something you know you can use for to completely eliminate all harmful particles and whatnot else from the air, but this is kind of like an assistant to neutralize them. So you definitely still want to you know take precaution and have plenty of airflow wherever you're printing. So this is the box that it comes in. We can see there's a picture of what it looks like and there should be two of them in there. Some random letterings around the box, not too important. Let's go ahead and open it up and this is what we see. So it looks like it's two little purifiers here in a tower format. Go ahead and pull one out. So yeah, it looks like a pretty simple kind of device here. We have a fan in there, I don't know if you guys can see maybe, that blows through a carbon filter and that's what helps with the neutralization of the smells from the resin. So we got a little logo here on the top, it looks like a light, a power button, and a USB type C charge port. And yes, these are actually rechargeable and can run on their own without being plugged in. But if you want it you know, to run constantly, you can. So on the back here, we got the manufacturing label. So the battery capacity is a two, 1000 milliamp hour 3.7 volt which is 7.4 amp hour so yeah it's a pretty decent sized battery in there that should run for a while let's go ahead and take the other one out and again there are two of them which is pretty cool because you can have them in a few different places so here's something interesting we get a cable but only one cable which is weird I think it's supposed to come with two so yeah I guess it only comes with one so I guess you could charge one while using one which kind of doesn't make sense but I'm sure you know most people have extra USB-C cables laying around anyways and then we got a few more things in here it looks like the carbon filters themselves and there's two of them and I don't know if these are replacements or the actual filters we need to install maybe we should go ahead and look at this little manual it comes with so is there let's see a picture so yeah it does show that the top does pop off and our carbon filters will go in here and we can see that they're empty in there okay yeah so it literally just pops right off so you just either pull it up or kind of like just pinch it up but yeah it just pops off and then we're going to grab our carbon filter set it in there and then close the lid and now we got the filter in there let's go ahead and put the other one in also but yeah it's pretty straightforward guys Okay, I just realized I put this one on the wrong way because of the uh, logo here going to the front. Yeah, and this carbon is a little dirty, so watch out for that. So yeah, that's everything for the box. So theoretically, we should have power in them. Let's go ahead and push the button. And look at that. So it actually does turn on. I can hear it. And it is blowing out the top. So it's sucking in from the sides here, going through the carbon filter, and then blowing off, I guess, fresh air out the top. So, And we got the second one here. And now they're both on. And they're both pumping out some air. Now, you probably can't hear that. I got my microphone pretty close here. It's just kind of like a pretty quiet little fan sound and that's it. So depending on how much you use these, the carbon itself would need to be replaced in about three to six months. So if you use this all the time, it would probably be about three. And if you use it occasionally, about six months. And they should be available to purchase separately from Anacubic. And also guys, before you do run them like I am here now, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and charge them fully. That way, you know, the batteries are nice and healthy before you start using them for long periods of time. So I'm going to go ahead and set something up in this photon m3 here and while i'm getting everything ready i'm going to go ahead and charge these things up so to turn it off you just push the button same thing for turning it on all right so here we are by my charging dock where i charge everything and i got them plugged in and you guys can see that they're blinking red indicating charge all right let's pour some resin in here 
and this is when you really start to have smells and usually when you're printing you use the lid which does seal it off really well and you don't you know get too much smell but it is pretty bad especially when you open it you get a really nice burst of fumes there so in any case I'm gonna close it and print like that and uh, we'll start to build up some of the smells in here and once the air appears are fully charged we'll go ahead and turn it on and we'll see if there's any kind of difference in the air and while they are charging you can turn them on and it'll run while charging so you know if you want to leave them plugged in while using them you can do that also all right so they're both done charging and once they are they just stop blinking red and don't show anything on the light here so let's go ahead and unplug them and we'll get to see a couple ways of how you can use these all right so one way you can use these things is you can just turn them on and set them somewhere where they can kind of filter the air you know near or around the printer another way that they're intended to be used is like on this photon m3 is inside of the printer so i've had this lid closed now when you do pull the lid open you release all the fumes that kind of were collected in here like very strong ones and that's where the issue comes is when you first open the lid so i'm going to open the lid right now and sure enough there's a very very strong odor coming out of this thing so the whole point here is that you can put one of these or both of these inside the printer if of course it fits in your printer like it does in this one and we can turn them both on and the idea here is that they'll filter the air inside and so next time when you open the lid it won't be so deadly so let's go ahead and close this back up with them on and I'm going to give it about 15, 20, 30 minutes maybe and we'll come back and open it and see if we get the same kind of fumes or not. Alright, so it's been about 30 minutes or so and one thing I'm noticing is that there's definitely a different smell in the room. So I don't smell the resin at all but usually I don't smell much of it anyways with this lid closed. But I do smell something a little bit different which is <laughs> kind of interesting. So let me go ahead and open the lid and uh, see what we smell. So, Okay, so... You can still smell the resin, it's just not very strong. It's just like a really light, kind of like a, more of a faint smell. And it's kind of a little different, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like just a different smell. So yeah, it does seem to work actually. And it seems to work <laughs> very well. From 100% being the smell that we smelt earlier without these to what it is now, I would say it cuts about 80% or so. So yeah, it's quite significant and you can tell. Now it's not gonna completely eliminate it as we talked about earlier, but it does make it a lot more tolerable so yeah overall I think you know they're quite interesting in what they do and if you are very sensitive to you know resin and it really bothers you this could probably help you out a bit so as long as you understand that this minimizes and not eliminates completely as the expectation I think you'd be pretty happy with them and if we take our watts consumption which is 0.6 with 200 milliamp hours we should be able to get well over 24 hours of runtime out of these things and they do look pretty awesome so you know if you want to make a gift for somebody that's maybe into 3d printing this could definitely be great for that so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video of the anacubic air pure if you are interested in getting a set i'll have some links in the description check it out and if you do enjoy videos like this i have a lot of 3d printing videos in the playlist and also more to come so stay tuned and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace